Last week we saw the housemates start a new life in Cardiff. Liz started two bar jobs, James and Becky had a brief fling and continued to enjoy their newfound freedom, and Mark's first week ended in disaster after a late night fight. Just over four weeks on and having settled into their new surroundings, Liz, Becky and James are still unsure whether Mark will return to the house. Since having his jaw broken in the fight, Mark has been living back at his parents' house in Aberdeer. Yeah, I kind of miss the house a bit, actually. I'm sure things are going on without me, and even though I wasn't even there for the eight hours a day, whatever, I was out to work, but I don't want them to be getting on decorating the place without my uh, little touch. But uh, I feel for James, actually, because he's down there on his own with the two girls. But actually he texted me saying, come back, Mark, I need you now. So, like I say, I want to get back down to Cardiff, and the quicker I can do that, the better. Get myself sort of moved in, and make a home once again, I suppose. While Mark convalesces back in Aberdeer, James is in no hurry to find a job and has treated his first month away from home like an extended holiday. I was jogging every morning. I thought I'd best just join a gym, just in case I'm going to end up there six months coming out like Santa. But no, I am. Uh, I really had a stressful day. Woke up about half ten. Some breakfast, a cup of tea. Watch the news, went shopping, and then come to the gym. <laughs> oh, I had a look on the internet for some jobs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, I mean, because I, I had a car, quite a good one, so I got sold my car and that, to so have a bit more money to come down with. Let's say at the moment I'm just in holiday mode. Becky is finding it difficult settling into a new city, making new friends and sharing a house with strangers. Sextoys.co.uk <laughs> Having already run out of money, she is unsure of her future career plans and spends her time browsing the internet for job opportunities and missing her friends back in Liverpool. Although very busy holding down two bar jobs, Liz's ultimate ambition is to work in the arts, and she still finds time to apply for a job at a local theatre. I'm filling out an application form for a marketing office at the Sherman Theatre. And the deadline's tomorrow at 9 o'clock, so I've got to get it done pretty quickly and go down there this evening. I basically want somebody to work in their team of marketing and publicity staff. Closing dates tomorrow, so expect a few days after that, I'll contact you. Sorry. Liz must get her application in this evening, and with Becky dragging her out for a drink, she finishes it just in time. Oh, I've got seat right. Application completed and delivered, it's time for a drink. Vodka in great! You like some vodka? Having had plenty of vodka, Becky calls her ex boyfriend for a chat. Pardon? Because I'm, I've told you I'm going to be famous, but you're just not listening, are you? Nope. No. So I, I just thought I'd phone you to say, right, to say that I'm a bit, a bit pissed right now. But um, okay, yeah, I'll make a porno film. Is that okay? Um. All right then. Bye. <laughs> Did what go okay? The call. The call went fine. Um, to be honest, I don't really care anymore. I'm like, <clears throat> past caring, I don't care. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It went fine. James is in good spirits. A kickabout with the neighbours and with his best friends down for the weekend, it could be the start of a heavy session. <laughs> I've known Chris since we were yay big, since about four. So, yeah, so they've um, all come down to visit me at the weekend. 
and then um, just had a few share bits, a few drinks. They're getting ready now because they like to take three hours to get ready. Liz and Becky are also planning a night out on the town. Um, basically, me and Becky are going out tonight with a few of my friends who I've only recently met, so I don't know them that well, but uh, they seem really nice. We're going to go out. I think we're going to the soda bar and maybe the chicken club as well. Fantastic. Out with the guys. Vicky says one. Been on a stellar trip. Um, Incognitos, man. So it's open to um, three. Um, two, even. So, <laughs> all Incognitos. Watch my bracelet. I've lost Becky. She's going off with some random flame. Anna, I'm a loner. Becky! That's your party, boy, James. Party boy, party boy, party boy, party boy, party boy, party boy. You've got hairy ass now with a handbag, and it's not your Party boy, party boy. I'm just shocked. Innocent old Gina here. Have you seen this before? Have I, eh? Uh, God, no. I'm very pissed. Look. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah, I'm just mixing with people who I work with and their friends. And uh, they're all really, really lovely, so. Having fun. My plans now is just to go to bed and manage to get up for work on time. But uh, Becky, being the night owl that she is, will probably be awake for a good while yet. So, to be honest, Cardiff is full of minging blokes. Yes, and you, including you. Cardiff blokes are either too wrecked on illegal substances, too pissed, too ugly, too vain, or too gay, basically. But it might be because we went to a really crap place, and that might explain why. There's no sexy Cardiff blokes. I had a nice night, actually. It's a pity that we didn't go anywhere half decent. <laughs> I like that I didn't place. dislike it. Excuse me. Hello, I didn't say I didn't like it. I think there are some quite <laughs> fit blokes out there, actually. Yeah, yeah I definitely. Seen one. Like, okay, enough already. It's over a month since Mark moved out of the house. And having had enough of living with his parents, he's moving back to Cardiff and looking forward to catching up with his new housemates. Went over to the hostel this morning, um, they wanted to see me, so they took my stitches out. But the doctor seemed quite fine with everything. Uh, they want to take my wires out now in three weeks' time. Uh, they said, sort of, it's not going to heal properly for, you know, so six months. Hello! I had stitches, sort of here, 
uh, here and all across the bottom, yeah. It's basically where they put my plates in. Swelling inside, it's gone down so I can actually bite now. It's just a case of uh, staying on the mashed potato. <laughs> Scramble egg and spaghetti, that's my favourite. With no one at the house to welcome him back, Mark phones Becky, who is in Liverpool visiting friends. But she seems to be having some trouble understanding Mark's accent. It's quite all right. I'm all right, yeah, I'm back down the house. I'm back down the house. Just got back now. Just got back now. Just, I just got back now. You want to go Yeah. Having known Mark for only a few days before he broke his jaw and moved out, the housemates have to get reacquainted all over again and go out for a drink to welcome him back. Are you sure it's not a bit bad day today? No. Yes, it is. We know we need to get them out now. Because, because I don't know, it's the alarming fact. I see bin bags you know outside everybody is. else's house just Mark, kind of Mark, are you okay? I don't know. We've got to go and put them out now. No, but how we get home? Yeah, go in now. No, we won't. Come on, let's go. She's just leaving the door open. <laughs> Has anyone got a key? I'm drinking his key that you're starting. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. Everyone seems to have bonded a bit. Um, so, sort of like, obviously, they've been living together now for a month, I think, so. Not left out on a few things, but you can obviously see like how things have changed a little bit. Not change, but develop. Isn't it? Sam W taking a bin out. Fuck, just get locked out. That'd be easier. <laughs> We've got a key. Oh, yeah, we'll take the bin out, and when we come right. in, we're not going to lie about yeah. it and we'll make you do it. We'll take the bin out, Liz, honestly. Honestly, yeah, promise. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, on. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's nice to have him back. The person I get on with the most, actually. But I've been missing him loads because he hasn't been here. He brings a bit of an organisational role to it. And he's as um, fussy about cleaning and, and organising as I am, so I don't feel so much like Monica from Friends. With Becky away in Liverpool and Mark back in the house, it seems as though James has some competition for Liz's attentions. First thing the next morning, and while James sleeps off his hangover, Mark gets straight back to work. Liz also has an early start, and although desperate to make a career in the arts, for now she seems the most settled out of all the housemates. Uh, well, I'm working here as a bartender and waitress as well. Normally I've been working in cocktail bars, but this job was uh, full-time hours, so... And they, ha they do have a small cocktail menu, so it, it's, it's fun so far. I'm enjoying it. It's quite different to anywhere else I've worked, though. It's like a different clientele. You, you get loads of businessmen in here. 
well, but it's good. And students as well in the evenings. Well, I've definitely made some really good friends here. And we've been out a few times outside of work, which has been good. I really get on with Des as well. He's um, like the team leader or something. And uh, yeah, he's, he's really nice. Mark has worked as a temp with a firm of solicitors for nearly four months. And during the last few weeks at his parents' house, he's had time to do some serious thinking about his future. In order to become a permanent member of staff at the firm, he would have to go back to college and back to full-time education. Away from work, Mark's happy to be back in Cardiff, but he's becoming increasingly annoyed at people not pulling their weight around the house. My aim originally was to um, come every day, but I've obviously not come every day. Basically, I'm just trying to um, burn off a few calories and tone up, and that's about it. But um, I actually really like coming. Um, whenever I'm really knackered and I come here afterwards, I feel more awake, so and it makes me feel better. So, and I also don't feel so guilty about getting so pissed <laughs> and eating so much junk food. So I'm trying to cut down on my food as well, but um, I'm still eating chocolate. So, um. The housemates have now been in Cardiff for six weeks. And with Mark settled back in and the dynamics of the house ever changing, we gave the housemates a camera to record their own personal video diaries. This new addition to the house will be used to capture their private thoughts and intimate feelings, as well as anything else that might happen. Your bird is mine, you ride. Just show your face, I'm very, very drunk. Becky's feeling refreshed since visiting her friends back in Liverpool and is happy to see Mark return to the house. He, bright, he brightens up the room when he comes in, he's lovely. Um, he's just really outgoing and it's, it's good. And it's, it's better, it's better now. I prefer it when there's more people. It's just nice having another, another lad around, really, I think. Makes it more equal. <laughs> I'm really got to grips with Becky. She's just a mentalist. Little things annoy me about her, which I can see growing. Every time I speak to her, she doesn't know what I'm saying. I know it's my accent as well, but I am the one. <laughs> the fact that she doesn't sleep at all. So many sort of times you can get up and see ash on the world top or just things everywhere. I mean, I could start, I could actually go on. If I start, I won't stop. With Mark out with his mates, James takes the opportunity to visit Liz at work. Um, I'm just a bit stressed at the moment. It's a lot harder than I anticipated doing this TV show. Um, obviously, um, you know, it's hard enough moving to a new city and meeting new people, blah, 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 blah. It's making me really, really self-aware and um, I'm completely paranoid. I think that there's, like, cameras all over the house and I'm in on my own right now and... I'm thinking there could be cameras filming me, filming me, which would not be good, really, would it? <laughs> um. <laughs> Two hours and eight pints later, and as Liz is busy serving, James's attentions are attracted elsewhere. Not down, not down. Not down, James and Liz arrive back at the house to find a drunk and irritable Mark trying to sleep on the kitchen sofa. Yeah, there's me down. Well, obviously me down, yeah. I've been working, huh? Who the fuck said, oh, I've bread? Mark, have you had another bread? What's the back there? Don't eat bread. You don't eat bread, my ass. No, I don't eat bread, honestly. No, I don't eat bread. I don't make fucking bread. I need for you. You eat bread in the morning. What do you mean? I don't eat half breakfast, James. I don't have breakfast. I don't have time to have cereal or toast. Every time I have breakfast, I have cereal or toast. Every time I come down in the morning, there's always, like, shit loads of pots. And I always feel like, I'm, I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll do the past, don't I? Because I'm not doing fuck all all day. 
so don't mind doing them. That's what, oh, that's what I, I mean, like I you agree. say, like like I've done today, like I do that every Yeah, yeah, every, every talking time. about the last week, like, you keep talking so you about sound, that. Okay, okay, well, there's no problem. You're signing with him, yeah. No, 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 no I'm not signing so. with anyone. I'm not defensive. I'm sure. Like, I'm getting, you, I'm not, I'm getting defensive because I have a bit of a thing about people think I'm just a bum. I don't think yeah. that. No one said that. What's that got to do with everything, James? Well, no, it's like saying that you... Yeah, I've done three and a half years work, you know, with the uni and I fucking work part-time. Doesn't give me a passport to do anything later in life. You probably f- you probably agree with him. No, not everything. Yeah. You just sat there. Like you have you know, like, yes, this before. You probably agree with him. Like I'm not. Why would you say anything? No, go for it. Right. Just just lay your well, cards on the she table. She Wait, she just lay your cards on the table. Lay the cards on the table. Right, lay my cards on the table. If I were you, I would do more if I was in the house all day. Got more chasing and going on. Yeah, but you never lived away from home before. Well, maybe it's about time you learned that, isn't it, Jeremy? This is what it's all about. I'm not being nasty or harsh. Well, maybe I'm a bit being a bit harsh, but fuck it, he's got off sulking like a baby. Side. That's it. Fucking golden balls. But he blatantly isn't my type. Yet there's this massive physical attraction between me and him. I walked up in a bedroom. No, don't piss me off. I am a marketing manager pissing in the street. Please. So, there was a...